the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about prevention. We need to talk about strengthening. Because if we were strong enough, we might be able to come down on somebody else's foot or the uneven surface and have enough strength to limit excessive motion. So we can do this exercise. Toes up and bring it up, bring it up. And I got to use two hands because the plantar flexors are so strong. Curl your toes first and push down, push. Toes first up and push. And up. Now, could she do this doing heel raises? She could, but not coming up. Push. Up. Push. So, what plane of motion is that? Sagittal plane. Right. And we're just strengthening the plantar flexors and dorsal flexors. Push out. Pull in. Push out. Pull in. Go. Push out. Go, <laughs> go, go, push. What plane of motion is this? Frontal plane, good. Inversion, eversion, right? So we got the two planes separate. Plantar flexion, inversion, that's our most common mechanism of injury. We got this one, we got this one. Now we can put them together. So you're all gonna learn how to do this. We, we learned this in our PNF class as well. We're going to work on the two corners right here. Here and here. Curl your toes first. Push down and across. Now I resist the toes up. Got to come on this side to see it. I resist the toes. Go. Lift it up. Go. 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 Okay. And you can see I could now I'm resisting more than one plane of motion. I'm gonna come over here. We'll bring her over here. I'm gonna work on these two corners, here and here. So curl your toes down first, push down, lift your toes up, curl them down. And up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Curl and push it good. And I'm going to show you one more, and then you get to go practice some more. This is one of my favorites. In fact, if I only have time to do one exercise before I take. This is the one I'll do. Okay, up and out. Hold it there. Down slow. Keep your toes up. Lift up, toes up. Hold it there. Now I don't want this leg to rotate at all. I don't want her to move in or out. I want just this pure ankle motion. Hold it there, down slow. Toes up, down and across. Up and out, down and across. So it means I might need to loosen, or lighten, not loosen, but lighten my resistance. Go. Up and out. Harder, isn't it? Down, slow. Up and out. Hold it. Down, slow. Up and out. Hold it. Down, slow. Up and out. Down, slow. Up and out. Because that's what's going to happen. You're going to land on, I know you get tired. <laughs> Um, you're going to land on somebody's foot, and all of a sudden, you land on somebody's foot or uneven surface, and your foot's going to do that. And if you've learned to stop it and slow it down, decelerate it, you'll either prevent or lessen the severity of injury to our lateral ligamentous support, which is our common injury or our common location for ankle sprain. 